Here's your first alert weather forecast from Chief Meteorologist Lexi Walker. Hey, good morning everybody and happy Wednesday. We are looking at high temperatures into the 50s as we head throughout the afternoon. Much colder compared to the last several days and the warm above average weather. Limited sunshine is also in the forecast today, so expect mostly cloudy skies. But because of the front yesterday, we're waking up to wind chill values in the teens and 20s. So expect that for your morning commute as you're walking out the door. It won't be until at least 11 o'clock this morning that we finally warm above 32 degrees for those future wind chill values and even a little bit of a wind chill as the day goes on. But as I've mentioned, definitely going to be seeing some limited sunshine. Here's a look at our 24 hour temperature change. That cold air has settled into Texoma. We're 32 degrees colder across Duncan, 29 in, in Altus, 35 degrees colder up in Elk City right now compared to yesterday morning and earlier this morning, Chickasha was 43 degrees colder. So we are definitely feeling the impacts of this cold front. No precipitation with that frontal passage. We're going to stay dry all day today. Thanks to a weak disturbance tomorrow. However, expect to see a chance for some isolated showers from time to time. There could be some winter precipitation mixing in as you can see here on future track, but not everyone is going to be seeing rain and those that do will be seeing up to about a 10th of an inch when it comes to the activity. But all of this will eventually exit exiting shortly after sunset. And then we'll be seeing lots of sunshine in the forecast for your Friday. Warmer temperatures are also expected as we head into the weekend, but that is going to prompt some critical fire danger yet again, at least for Sunday near critical status for Monday, Tuesday and Saturday of this week. Looking at your seven day forecast, high temperatures are going to be in the 70s on Friday, 80s for Saturday and Sunday. However, tomorrow we're looking at highs only in the upper 40s.